Hello guys, today I want to show you a few new small features released this week in official Laravel 8.10. With that, I want to remind you that every week there is a minor Laravel version and look at how many things are released each week with some new improvements, small ones, but some of them quite interesting and important. So in this video I will show you three of them, three examples. But just to recap, if you want to follow Laravel new minor versions every week, Laravel team member Dries is the one who releases them usually, and on Twitter every Tuesday I think. So Tuesday is the release day for all Laravel products, Laravel ecosystem, which is huge now. So this is an example list from a few weeks ago, how much was released. And if you're not familiar with Laravel versioning numbers, Laravel News covered it really well because it changed from Laravel 6. Before Laravel 6, there was new version every half year, 5.4, 5.5 and so on until Laravel 6 came. And then they switch to some version, which means that every week there is a version that changes the second number, so 6.1, 6.2 and so on. So this week's release 8.10 means the 10th week of Laravel 8 version. And then still every half a year there is a new Laravel major release, which will be Laravel 9 probably in some February or March, and then Laravel 10 in August or September, something like that. But for example, if today you do Laravel new something, it will install Laravel 8.10. I will link that article in the description of this video so you can read more about versioning and how to understand it. And now let's get back to our 8.10 release and I will show you three features. And let's begin with absurd method that was added to Eloquent and Query Builder. Imagine a scenario. I have it in my Tinker, in my terminal. You have a customer database table with customer's name, email, and phone, and email is a unique identifier, like in user's table it would be. And you want to upload the CSV, you have the CSV or Excel uploader that should compare the records from CSV, and if the uploader finds the same record with the same email, it should update the record with new phone number, for example, or name changed or address or something like that. So instead of adding a new record, it would update the existing one. And here's the syntax, I have it in my history. So customer, absurd, and it has two parameters. The second parameter is unique identifier of which column should be the unique to compare to, and it has to be unique on the database level, by the way. And then the first parameter is the array of records. It would be the whole CSV, so it's array, and each element is array in itself. So we're passing the same email, Jane Doe, this one, but the phone number has changed. And if we launch that, and then we launch customer all again, as you can see, the phone has changed and also updated at has changed. But if, for example, we launch customer absurd with a different email, for example, jane2.com, and now we go customer all, as you can see, a new record has been created. So this is absurd and it works with Eloquent and with Query Builder as well. You can find quite a big discussion on the GitHub issue here. There were a few pull requests with fixing. An interesting part, if you look at the source, that's actually, I advise from time to time to take a look at Laravel pull requests that come into framework. You could learn some good practices on how to do a pull request, how to add tests to them, and how Laravel works internally in general. So interesting thing that to add that absurd, the author should think about all the SQL drivers because Laravel supports MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQL Server, and I think that's it, those three. So by default, Grammar says that this database engine does not support absurds, so this is a fallback for the future, but then we go to MySQL Grammar and absurd is implemented this way, then Postgres Grammar in a different way, and then SQLite Grammar, or actually for it, SQLite, I forgot that, so SQLite grammar and then SQL server grammar. So see how much is happening under the hood just to launch one eloquent statement. So this is an example pull request. Oh, by the way, the tests are really important. So how to write tests for the framework you can learn from the pull requests as well. So that's new feature number one, absurd. Another interesting new thing is multiple auth validation rule. So if we open that up, it was well documented in the pull request itself. So new validation rule, multiple off, and then the number. An example of that is in my Tinker again. I'm making the validator. 
So this is the request. Amount is 115, for example. The validation rules are multiple of five. So imagine this amount is in cents. And I know that some countries operate the currency, the coins, with five cents or more. So they don't operate with two and one coins. So any amount paid in the shops should be five or more and divide by five. I think it was in Sweden or Denmark or something like that. Maybe I'm missing the country. But anyway, any amount should divide by five multiple of five and this is the validation rule message that appears for the user and if we click that validate here's our validated data and this is correct but if we change to 116 for example we have an exception and if we in my history i will find this one if we look at the validator errors and if we try to launch that i've restarted my tinker to show you and then we launch print r validator errors message bag it is called of errors this is the object or array with validation errors and one of them or the only one is amount should divide by five which is exactly the message that we provided so if you want any of your numbers be a multiple of some number this is the new validation rule for you and the third new feature i want to show you quickly is new line on console commands for artisan commands so if we create our own artisan command, sometimes we need new lines to appear in the output. So current way or older way of doing that would be just info empty line or doing backslash n or something like that. So the author of that pull request created this new line. So if you have artisan command, instead of doing info like this, you can do a new line. And not only that, there is a parameter of how many new lines it would be. And if we launch, for example, this command is new lines, we do php artisan new lines, and this is the result. One empty line and two empty lines. So this is just a more readable way or more customizable way with the amount of lines of outputting a new line in console command results. So that's it for this video. You can review 8.10 release all the new features. Majority of them are really small, but maybe it will improve your Laravel experience. And again, follow Dries on Twitter every Tuesday. There is a new release day for Laravel ecosystem. And if you want to check out all the releases, so you go to Laravel framework on GitHub, then you click releases. And you have the list, so 8.10, and then before that there was 6 point something, 8.97 days ago. So releases are really well documented, and you can find any news, not on Laravel News or my YouTube channel or whatever, but directly in Laravel Framework GitHub repository. That's it for this video. If you want more videos like this one, support this channel by subscribing and telling your friends to subscribe, and by using our Laravel Admin Panel Generator at quickadminpanel.com or enrolling in one of my Laravel courses at laraveldaily.teachable.com. See you guys in other videos.